Hi there, my name is Joel Schaefer and welcome. For over a decade, I've focused my culinary career on helping to educate others on the benefits of eating healthy foods that are specific to the individual's dietary needs. Unfortunately, it's easy for phosphorus to sneak into your diet, especially when snacking or having a treat. That's why I'm excited to show you a few recipes that contain delicious low phosphorus ingredients for a kidney-friendly diet. So we're gonna start with a salmon salad. This is a great dish because it's so simple. All you're doing is chopping a few ingredients, tossing it together with a dressing, and you can use it in so many ways. Take two cans of unsalted salmon, drain the extra liquid, and then flake in a medium bowl. Set that aside. Then in a separate bowl, combine the chopped celery, red onion, mayonnaise, flat leaf parsley, capers, and black pepper. Mix with a spoon until you've combined all the ingredients. Add the dressing to the salmon and toss gently with a spoon. From there, it's up to you of how you want to eat it. If you're serving it as an appetizer, you can top each cracker with a slice of cucumber and then top that with the salmon salad. But make sure to use low sodium crackers. Here's another great dip recipe. Cream cheese and tomatillo salsa. I love tomatillos, it's really a unique fruit. I'm going to show you how to make this from scratch, but if you don't have time to do this and you really like the dish, you can easily buy a low sodium tomatillo salsa at the store. For our homemade option, you're going to toss the tomatillos, Anaheim pepper, jalapeno, onion, garlic, and olive oil. Tomatillas are a green fruit, and you can find them in the vegetable aisle, usually near the tomatoes. Spread this out on a parchment-lined baking sheet and roast in a 400-degree oven for 18 to 20 minutes, flipping halfway through. You want to take it out after the tomatoes are soft and a bit charred. After letting the peppers cool, remove the stems, seeds, and outer skin. Toss all of this in the food processor and add cilantro, lime juice, and a bit of sugar. As it blends, the salsa will appear to be thin at first, but don't worry, it'll thicken as it sits in the refrigerator for a few hours. Pour one cup of your freshly made salsa over eight ounces of low-fat cream cheese and serve it up with low-sodium chips or your favorite fresh veggies. The next snack we're all familiar with, popcorn. And I love popcorn. You can always keep it plain, but we're gonna show you a twist today. We're gonna show you two delicious recipes using sriracha and cinnamon sugar. For the sriracha popcorn, whisk together two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter and four teaspoons of sriracha and pour over eight cups of popcorn. Toss well to coat evenly. Same concept for the cinnamon sugar popcorn. Combine sugar and ground cinnamon first and set aside. Melt two tablespoons of unsalted butter and coat the popcorn evenly. Then sprinkle the cinnamon sugar and toss well again. The final recipe I'm going to demonstrate today is a dessert. But if you have diabetes, you have to be very careful about the amount of sugar that you get in this recipe. I love this pairing because it reminds me when I was a kid that we would always sit around the table and have a dip with fresh fruit. So we're going to show you how to put this together today. In a medium bowl, simply blend softened cream cheese and marshmallow cream until smooth. And what is great, cream cheese is relatively low in phosphorus, so it is a really great alternative. Now all you need to do is assemble your fruit kebabs just like this, or whatever fruit you have in the fridge. This dip goes well with any fruit option. As a reminder, a single serving is about two fruit skewers and two tablespoons of the dip. Before I go, I want to remind you that portion control is very important in a kidney-friendly diet. So make sure you check all the recipes and the portion size before you sit down to indulge in these delicious snacks. Thank you.